beautiful people. Welcome to another video with your girl Siobhan. Welcome back. Welcome back. Happy Sunday reset. Yes. We got to get this house in order for a new week. I've been trying to be very consistent with you guys and give you as much content as I can. Quality content, of course. Hope y'all are enjoying the videos. I do want to change up the bathroom upstairs for fall, but not in fall colors, unfortunately. I couldn't find a shower curtain that I really liked for the fall. So it doesn't matter though, but I do want to change it up in here a little bit and I want to deep clean in here really well. And then we're going to just redecorate, get it clean. I'm also going to try to clean the hallway, mop the steps, all that good stuff, you know, just keep going because it's Sunday reset. I need to change the twin sheets, which I usually change their sheets and stuff every Sunday. So I have their sheets for them to get done. And yeah, let's just get some cleaning done, some motivation, and go from there. How are y'all doing? I hope y'all are all doing well. Again, I appreciate y'all for spending a little bit of time with me. I really, really do. And let's hop into the video. Talk to me nice. Talk to me honestly. people the first thing I do when I'm going to deep clean my bathroom is I remove everything out of there I take down the shower curtain I also have a washable shower curtain as well so I can throw that in the wash and then that'll be ready for the next use if I want to use it or whatever but I take everything out as well as move all the soaps and shampoos and stuff I put that in the sink I take out the garbage cans everything that I can the plunger everything out of the bathroom then I give everything a good sweep and then I'm going to start to clean. I clean the bathtub first. It's the largest, it's the pain in the butt, the bathtub or the, the shower tub combination. And then I'm going to move on to the toilet and then the sink. So I'm going to first, like I said, sweep everything, make sure I get up everything. And then I'm going to spray down the shower, the tub shower area really quickly. Let that sit for a few minutes. And then I'm also gonna do the, the toilet let that sit as well while I'm cleaning the tub, and then I'm going to start cleaning. In my last video, my last cleaning video, I had mentioned the wellness store. And again, I would love for y'all to join the wellness store. It's only $1 to join. When I tell y'all that these products are A1 quality, they really are A1 quality. And I am thoroughly enjoying them. Number one, they smell good, but they're all natural. They're made here in the United States of America. They ship quickly and a lot of it is recyclable. So you're not getting a whole bunch of bottles and plastic and things like that, which is nice. They're refillable. I like that. I like that a lot. Again, it's only a dollar. Now, I did give y'all an email last time, and unfortunately, the email, I can no longer use that email. So if you sent me an email, it won't even let me access it. Please text me. You can text me. Here's the number on the screen, and then I will get your information so that I can give you the link and everything so that you can get signed up. 
for anyone who did not get the link yet, I am going to be sending it to you. I do apologize about that. I apologize, but you will be getting the link very, very soon. So I do appreciate y'all reaching out and texting me. Again, it's only a dollar. The products are amazing. And I really want y'all to join if you're able to. Only if you're able to. Now I will say, in the bathroom, I haven't I didn't cough one time. I didn't sneeze. I didn't feel like my throat was closing up, like I had to open the windows, that I couldn't breathe, none of that. That is one of the things that I like about the products. I don't feel like my lungs are going to collapse, okay? Yes. So in the tub, sometimes when I'm in the shower, guys, I will clean the shower while I'm in there. So I'm about to take off my socks and shoes and get in the tub and clean this because y'all saw me fall into the tub downstairs when I was cleaning the bathroom. I'm not about to have that happen again up here. So I am going to take my shoes off and get in the tub and get that nice and clean. Also, this what is that? Like the walkway to get into the, or the hallway right there, all of that gets cleaned up too, guys. So just in case you're wondering, all of that gets cleaned up. Again, I remove everything out the bathtub. I put into the hallway. I cleaned, I cleaned the bathroom, and then I'm going to clean all of that up as well. So let's get in this tub. Let's get this tub scrubbed down. I'm really anal about the grout, okay? <laughs> I want the grout to be nice and clean and white and shining. Like I want it to look like it's like they just put this shower combo in here yesterday. I want it to look brand spanking new. So I don't care if I got to scrub it until I have no more meat left on the fingers. I don't care. I want it nice and clean. So yes, let's get to it. Tell me what can I do now Ain't it always funny how Soon as I let my guard down Here comes that familiar sound When you start to get tongue-tied And in my heart I feel you lie Though I know the whole damn time Why do I act so surprised? Cause I'm free Now, I will say that I didn't enjoy scrubbing the tub. <laughs> I didn't find any enjoyment in it. My back was killing me, look. Though. <laughs> but I am glad that I was able to get it done. And like I said, I don't show y'all every single time we clean it. Of course not. But I do like to get in there when I'm in the shower. It's easier to clean it when you're in the shower, guys, of course. So that's what I like to do. I also have one of the products. I'm not sure if I showed you, but it's a daily shower cleaner. So after you get out the shower, you can just spray it all over and you can get out, okay? Spray it, get out. It makes it so much easier. With my towel, and with my grout, I should say, I have lighter grout. It's like a white cream grout. And so it looks, to me, it looks like it gets dirtier quicker. I don't know. I would have preferred like a dark gray grout or something like that, but that's just me. Um, but yeah, so I like to clean the shower when I'm in there. It just makes things a lot easier. I love the little nook as well because we can keep our shampoo, conditioners, um, body washes, soaps, whatever we want to keep there, which I really like. The only thing, I bought some hooks and stuff to go on the tile inside the shower and they will not stick to save my life, okay? I tried everything. I tried wiping it off with alcohol, making sure it was super dry, everything and nothing. It will not stick no matter what. I have bought those from Target, so... Anyway, that's the only thing I wish that I had a little bit more storage in there, but I think I'm going to buy something that can go in the shower that doesn't need to stick on the walls. I can't, if I find a picture, I'll put it up, but if not, I'll show you when I get it. You need some real I 
I'd give my all to those who take It's disaster in the making How easily we break We're all diamonds in the rough But no one's gonna call your bluff You need someone you can trust to tell you When you messed up Cause our friends keep your secrets And your family enables weakness And I don't think you could live differently What's left for me when it all you needed some real ones on your side The type to pull up down to fight yeah. Keep it 100, tell you if you're wrong or right Yeah, you need some real ones on your side So I know that they're on our side So now I'm just getting everything out of the sink because I'm going to clean the toilet and I want to make sure that the sink is nice and cleaned out first. I'm going to come back to the toilet. But I like to wipe off the bottles. You know when you're pumping and you know, you're know you using the pump bottles and things like that, it gets a little soapy and stuff around it. So you want to make sure that everything is nice and clean. So now I am going to clean the toilet. But I will say with kids you know with multiple people using the bathroom I do like to wipe off the walls on either side as well as well as you have to thoroughly clean the entire toilet even the bottom the base of the toilet very 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 well I have one boy in here but you know some people have three four four boys or whatever I have one but still you just want to make sure everything is nice and clean thoroughly thoroughly cleaned guys so that is what I'm doing I'm going to clean this toilet I'm also going to wipe it off with some what are they there's some Lysol wipes and stuff too so yeah I'm making sure that it's nice and thoroughly cleaned <laughs> Break when I bend over backwards for you If there's a way to get you to change I won't be around anymore anyway Mary go, Mary go round, round with ya In the now, then up and down, down, down It's getting old, going around, round with ya Think I need some solid ground Mary go Let's go Let's not beautiful people I tried my hardest to get the toilet seat tightened I cannot I tried and tried and tried I can't tighten it anymore and I can't untighten it either like take it off this is a brand new toilet brand new toilet seat like but it's still kind of rocks I don't know what to call it you know it moves around I can't get it to tighten so if you're wondering that is what I was trying to do I tried 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 I couldn't do it so then I had to move on with my life I'm going to have my son. I'm going to see if he can do it. If not, then I don't know, guys. Maybe when my sister and my brother-in-law come over or whatever, you know, maybe I can see if he can do it. Whatever. I don't know, but I know that I couldn't do it. And usually I'm very strong and I can do stuff like this, but 
it's tightened on there so freaking tight. I can't do it. I can't. So anyway, I am still using the products from the wellness store and I'm just spraying everything down. Again, I showed y'all I used a tub and tile cleaner as well as the disinfectant and I also used the toilet bowl cleaner as well. I did use a little bit of Comet that was under my sink because I only had a little bit left and I was like, I'm going to use, you know, I already have products, of course, so I do want to use up the products that I have because I don't want to just dispose of everything, like throw things away. So you will see me still use some of the products because I want to get rid of them. I want to use what I already had. But for the most part, 95% of the time, I am only using the wellness products. So, And also, those Lysol wipes that we found, <laughs> Ayana actually found those in the basement for, well, found them in the basement. And she was like, look, my, look what I found. I was like, perfect. And I, I, I'm going to use these too. Look, I'm going to use whatever I got because ain't no need to waste it. <laughs> Okay, let's be real for a moment. Let's be vulnerable for a moment, okay? 2024, number one, 2023 was absolutely phenomenal. It was phenomenal. That was a phenomenal year. Phenomenal year. I mean, mentally, physically, emotionally, phenomenal year for the most part. 2024 has been a life sucking draining year it has been so freaking draining mentally physically and emotionally it is always something always and i try my best to be very 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 positive every single day every day i thank god for as much as for everything that i could possibly think of that I know he has done for me and my family. For, of course, basics like our health, having somewhere to live, having a, a vehicle to get to and from, um, having food and drink available, you know, the kids don't go hungry, providing us with light and gas and water, you know, and, and internet and whatever. Like, I thank God for everything. And I know that some people have it worse off than than me or whomever i know that i know this for a fact we all have our problems you know or our situations or whatever that we're dealing with i totally understand that but i ain't gonna say but but right now okay yes we're gonna say but right now 2024 it can't I, it, it can just go away it can go away i am over it this has been a rough year it has been a rough year and i'm over it i'm over it but i am very thankful to be alive and be able to see another day and to be able to wake up and make new choices and more plans and you know go after my goals that i have and all that like i'm still thankful for that but i'm just saying like 2024 who it is trying to play a number on me it really, really is. It's trying to play a number on me. I'm frustrated. Anyway, I got up this morning, <laughs> got up this morning. I had to go and get my truck inspected. Okay. So I get there. I have my insurance card in there. I don't have my registration. Now I've had a vehicle since I was 18, 18 years old. I have never had a situation where I could not find my registration. Never. So, of course, you know, they can't do your inspection without your registration, okay? So I had to leave and go to the messenger 
a messenger office or whatever to get a new registration printed out. I had already done my registration. Like I do my registrations every two years. So mine doesn't expire until 2025. So I went in there. I had to wait, of course. The woman helped me. Very nice woman. So nice. Um, and she was like, oh, she was like, you just need a, a copy. She was like, you're, you're renewed up until 2025. I said, I thought so. I said, but I'd never take it out my truck. And I'm thinking when I got my truck worked on, they must've took the paperwork out. Cause there's, there's a few other things that are missing, but that's okay. I, there's nothing I could do about it now. And so she was like, no, it's not, not a problem. So I had to pay $25 to get a copy of my registration. Great. I went back to the car dealership to have my car inspected. Okay. He was like, so my appointment was at 10 a.m. And then I came back at back about 1030. And he was like, oh, he was like, now I don't have anybody to work on your vehicle. Um, can you wait? And I'm like, yeah, I can wait. You know, I brought my laptop. I can do some work. I can do some studying. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I waited till three o'clock. I was there till three o'clock, three o'clock. And then. At 2.30, he comes to me and he says, I have some bad news. And I'm like, what is it? He was like, you need brakes and rotors on all four tires. I said, okay, well, how much is that? $1,600. Oh, no, it ain't. What? Come again? $1,600. And then I need to get, I had to get something, part of my oil changed. I had to get my oil changed. I had to get an oil cap thing replaced and something else, something else. Yeah. So all I hear is cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. I'm like, you know what? I said, so what happens if I don't get them replaced today? He was like, well, I'm just going to have to fail you on the state inspection. I said, then fail me. <laughs> fail me. And he was like, <laughs> he was like, are you serious? I was like, yes. Yes, I am. Because by the time I pay everything, that's about $1,800. And no, I, I'm not doing that today. And so um, when I went to go ring up and pay for the stuff that I was paying for, less the brakes and rotors, because I was not, I'm not doing that today. Okay, I'm not. And so the woman was like, you know, eventually you're going to have to get them done. I said, I didn't say I wasn't getting them done. I said, I'm not getting them done today. And I'm definitely not getting them done here. And I said, can I come back and get, once I get the brakes and rotors on, can I come back and you'll pass my state? And he was like, yeah. And I said, how much will it be? He said, it'll be like $40, $42 or something like that. I said, I'll be back. So I leave out. I call a couple different um, places, you know, brakes and rotors. You can get brakes and rotors from uh, several different places. You don't have to go to the dealership, of course. So the one place gave me a price that is $550 cheaper than the dealership. And I know what everybody's going to say. Oh, girl, you know the dealership is so expensive. I know, I know, I know. And that's why I said, no, thank you. Just fail me. Just fail me. So I called him. I called another place. My sister's fiance's friend put her brakes and rotors on. So she's going to see if he can put my brakes and rotors on. And my sister is the one with the two-year-old, my nephew, who's always over here. So if she's safe enough to drive her nephew, her son around, I know that this man, he has his own shop. He can put my brakes and rotors on. It's not just somebody on the street. Because I know that's going to be the next thing. But yeah, you know what? If we could, <laughs> I'm just talking and talking. I have six kids. One would be a doctor. Okay. I'm just saying, hypothetically. One would be an electrician. One would be a mechanic. One would be a dentist. What else do you have to pay an arm and a leg for? One would be a plumber. <laughs> oh, shoot. I would be a carpenter because that's always what I wanted to do. Um, but yeah, everybody would have a trade or something. Like, you know, a doctor is a specialty, of course. But yeah, a doctor, a plumber, an electrician, a mechanic, a lawyer. Like... <laughs> serious because man I feel like they were just trying to rake me over the over the coals I'm just not paying $1,800 I'm just not doing it I'm not doing it so anyway I still have a couple days I'll get it done I'm not worried I'll get it done and again I live by everything and we don't need anything and if I have to I will get a uh, grocery delivery and everything else I swear I will I will
I will. I'm just so over it. I am over it. Now, I know I like to go to the stores and stuff, guys, but I have cut back shopping a lot. Maybe I might buy a few things here or there, and, you know. I have cut back shopping a lot. I really am tired of shopping for stuff, to be honest with you. Sometimes. Sometimes. Don't get me wrong, sometimes. But I have cut back a lot, and I'm proud of myself. And I'm just, I'm just tired. I'm just tired. Like the other, you know, beginning of the month, you pay your mortgage. Um, I have my car note, my car insurance, all the utilities, all. And it's just, uh, adulting sucks. Can we just chalk it up to that? Adulting sucks. Anyway, I'm almost done with the bathroom. I just had to share that little tidbit. So give you some let me give you some information i did get a new shower curtain from burlington and the curtains that are hanging up next to it as well not from burlington i apologize from gabe's shower curtain was only like eight dollars the curtains were fourteen dollars so hmm, i feel like i i don't know i wanted to change up the bathroom a little bit so that's what i did i don't feel like that's a lot of money so here I'm going to clean up the hallway. And like I said, I did clean up that side of the hallway. There's nothing there. And I apologize that I did not get to show y'all that. There is nothing there. The only thing I did move over there was the dog, um, the dog crate. But I did move it back to the hallway because we do put our oldest dog in a crate. Everybody, all the dogs have crates. So Rumble has a crate, Marley has a crate, and our oldest dog, Leah, has a crate. Um, if you're wondering, cause I think somebody did ask me, Leah is 12 years old. She's an older dog. She has never been good around people. She has, she has bitten so many people to the point where she even bit the, um, um, sorry guys. She bit the post office worker. She bit our neighbors. She has bit some, I used to take her to the park tried i tried several times so if you see us out walking without her that is why she is not a people person if we take her outside to go to the bathroom and she sees another person or dog she is in attack mode like she's not she won't even go to the bathroom she is trying her hardest to get off of the leash to go and bite she we came brought one of the kids we brought her outside one day and this person was walking their dog across and she and it was like a pit bull or something it was a bigger dog she ran up she's biting on the dog the dog bit her she's bleeding like mind you we have a longer leash for her too so she was still on a leash but she's and she's just really she's quick but she's not a friendly dog so no we're not going to try and take her on a trail we're not going to try that's not her that's not her now she's great with us and the kid and me and the kids you know, she, this is her family. This is what she loves. This this is great. She is not an outside, take us outside type of dog. She don't want nobody trying to pet her. She don't want, she barks instantly when she sees someone or another animal, period. She still gets love. She loves London's room. Okay. She loves London. She likes to be up in that room and that's, that's what it is okay she gets all the love she gets all the treats she does not play with toys she does not she's never played with toys never she does not wear clothes okay i bought her oh goodness i bought her so many different outfits and winter coats and stuff oh my i'll have yana talk about it one day yana's upstairs in her room right now but i bought her little booties for her feet every she does not like that at all whatsoever i've had her since she was a puppy i've tried it she has no hair i can't put a bow on her or anything like that she's well taken care of the cats get up teen treats a day um, one loves to sleep with kinsley one loves to sleep with cade they do their own thing if you had a cat or if you have a cat you already know cats do what they want to do period marley and rumble are puppies 
and they are just more friendly-ish type puppies, I guess. You know, they enjoy going outside for the walks and everything, so that's what we do. I mean, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but please believe that all of the animals get all of the same treatment. They all get fed twice a day. They all get treats. They all get petted. Is that a word? We pet them. Let's put it that way. We pet them. We love on them. All of that. They are all loved, guys. All of them. There is no way that I would do more for one than the other. That's like me doing more for one of my kids and and less for another one. That's it's just not, I'm not that type of person. So anyway, I just had to mention that. If you don't see Leah doesn't mean she's not around. <laughs> London comes home. London goes to her room. Leah is with London. She will come down. She will eat. She might lay on the couch for a minute and then she's out like, mm, it's just what it is. Marley and Rumble are pets. So they're usually with us. I mean, they're not pets. They're puppies. So they're with us the majority of the time. So anyway, the hallway is clean and I will be moving that stuff. I, I moved the table over to the side because I am going to be doing a hallway makeover already. I know I've said it before, but I'm actually now I'm ready to do it. Um, so last but not least, let's talk about this, okay? In October, I will be having surgery. So all the testing and everything that I've gone through has determined that I do have uh, severe acid reflux as well as, I don't know what else they called it. They called it a different name. GERD and all that other stuff that happens when you have a have the VSG or all the stuff that can happen. I know a lot of people who don't have any symptoms, no problems with the, whatsoever. You know, they can eat whatever they want. They don't gain any weight, blah, blah, blah. I get that. Unfortunately, that is not the case with myself. I can drink water and get acid reflux. And not just a little bit, like I'm sweating I want to throw up. I feel like I'm going to pass out. Like, it's a lot. It is a lot. I burp excessively, okay? Who burps four, five, six times in, in five minutes? Like, and they're not loud or obnoxious, but I know I, I'm doing it. And I sat down and talked with my doctor. I talked with his PA. And they we just watched and we counted. Like, excuse me, I did it now. And London was like, Mom, why do you always do this? <sighs> like, pfft, like I'm blowing something out. That's what she was trying to, like, I, I know y'all are not in front of me. Like, it's like I'm blowing something out. And, um, excuse me, just the burps. I try my hardest to not be, make them noticeable. But anyway, so I will be going to Atlanta in, well, in October and then I come back from Atlanta and I'm having surgery and so you will get some content of me getting ready for my Atlanta trip having fun in Atlanta doing all the things I could possibly do because when I come back and I have surgery I will not be doing a bunch of anything right away you know me I, it's gonna be very hard for me to sit still but <laughs> I'm definitely gonna do it I'm definitely gonna do it my mom is supposed to come down and help help me for a couple days. Ayana is ready to help. We already talked about that. And, you know, so October is going to be, I'm going to try to get a lot of content out um, earlier. And then I'm going to try and schedule some content as well for you. Um, but I'm trying to plan that out, make sure I got everything that I need. You'll see me getting ready for surgery. So that's going to be some surgery prep in there as well as um, like I said, my Atlanta trip and then also um, prepping because I did tell the kids I am going to be baking, making some meals that I'm going to freeze so that they can just pull them out, pop them in the oven and have them a meal for two days or whatever. And again, like I said, my mom is going to come down and help help me with the kids um, as well. So, yes, I already talked to my ex-husband so that he can help with the kids as well. We'll see. We haven't set anything in stone yet. But again, I did talk to him. So 
that is the updates of what is going on in my life guys i will be definitely updating you in the hospital if i can or when i get home from the hospital how i'm feeling day to day um i've been meeting with a nutritionist i almost I, literally guys i almost signed up to learn uh and get a nutrition certificate seriously because that's how bad i want to change my nutrition and eating and you know we've we've met and talked about how to introduce certain things to the kids and how this and how that and i thoroughly thoroughly enjoy talking to this nutritionist and i can call her and talk to her and schedule anything with her anytime i love it so you're going to be seeing some new recipes and different things like that that i'm going to be incorporating because i'm just excited i well, no one's excited for surgery, but I'm excited to feel better. I'm excited to get these symptoms under control. So thank y'all so, so much for watching the video. I really hope y'all enjoyed it. I love y'all to the moon and back. And if you have watched the video to the end, to I still got a little bit more in this video. But if you've watched it till the end, leave me a blue star. Leave me a blue star. And I will see y'all in the next video. I love y'all so much. Bye. Mwah. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. Protecting my peace for so long. A little too good, now I'm so low. Watching reruns of the same shows. Almost everybody on my no show. Even with green lights, I don't go. Never been sure, no, I don't know. How does everybody has to let go of the ego?
Let's take this show on the road. Same-ish, different day. I'll be bored out my mind.